Want your Squarespace website to look next level without hiring a designer? Then this video is for you. I'll be sharing my favorite Squarespace design hacks and tips that will instantly make your site look more polished and professional. These are quick and easy tricks that help you customize layout, improve styling, and make your website stand out even if you're not a designer. Hi, I'm Xenia. I help businesses create beautiful, functional websites on Squarespace. Whether you need a custom design or an easy to use template, you can find it here. This video is gonna be a part one and you can find a part two in the description. Before you start designing anything in Squarespace, the main hack would be to create a, a site style page. And what it is basically just, you can create a blank page. I will name it site st styles. And on this page, I would lay out all of my buttons and all of my headings and paragraphs, and then add a text, which would be, so I would add heading one, which I will adjust heading one, and then duplicate this, and this is gonna be heading two, <clears throat> so on and so forth, and I would add all of the headings, so from first, to four, and also all of the paragraphs over here and monospace. And as well, I would add buttons. Squarespace gives you an option for three different styles for, for buttons. So I would use all of them. So this is a secondary and then a third option would be here. And you can also duplicate this and the color themes that are you gonna be using the most. So for example, this one, and then we can duplicate and choose some dark one let's say this one if you navigate to site styles and then navigate to fonts you can adjust the size of each heading for example i would like to make the heading one a little smaller or larger same goes for heading two three and four so we can make all of the adjustments here we can also change our font style to something different for example, area. The same manipulation we can do for our buttons. So we, this is our primary button and we can see what kind of fonts are we using for this button and we can make the adjustments to the font weight, we can change the font. And also if we exit from fonts and navigate to buttons, here we can make adjustments to the shape of our buttons. For example, this one, if I click on a shape to be a square or an oval one or maybe something more interesting and so that way you can save yourself time instead of going always back and forth to uh, the site styles you can actually lay it out everything in one page and see exactly what are these styles are gonna look like and also in regards to the colors for example this is a section that you're planning on using but let's say you don't like the way the black looks on a burned orange we can always change so from the side styles we want to navigate to colors and then this is a section light one so we want to click into the light one section and then um, by just clicking into the section here on the right it's going to pull up all of their elements that are currently displaying on this section in our case we have heading one two three and then different buttons this kind of going to save you some time from going through each individual element that it listed under the colors let's say i want the heading to be not the dark color but lighter one like this one or maybe white and then for the other heading i want it to be this like off orange color let's say we can change the color of the buttons the primary button currently has a white background but i for example want this background and i want the text to be the burn orange color. This way we can adjust the colors for each section. Do not go back and forth of changing small details. Just adjust it all at once and then start building our website. The next tip I have for you is how to properly use element containers in Squarespace. Here we have a simple section where we have copy on the right and an image to the left. But as we start minimizing our screen, you can notice that the heading is overlapping our paragraph and the button looks squished. Let me show you why it is. So if I click into edit, 
each element in Squarespace has a border. And for example, if I click over this element, you're going to see the blue border outline. And this border outlines the space that the element is inside can contain. Even if the actual text isn't overlapping there, the paragraph, but because this element um, container is overlapping the paragraph, it means at, at some point when there's going to be not enough space for this element, it will, it will extend to take the space inside the border. The simple fix would be to first of all snap this element back so it is not overlapping with another element, unless that's a look that you're going for. And then let's take a look at the button. As you see, the blue border is pretty tight. We can extend it. And then instead of it being aligned to the center, we can align it to the left. Now we can see that none of the elements are actually overlapping each other. And let's preview it. As you see, as we're minimizing, this heading isn't overlapping the paragraph and the book a call with us button isn't squishing because we gave more space for this element by extending the border container. The next step would be to use section spacing to achieve the desired layout. As an example, here we have two images and I'm trying to achieve a split look where we have one image takes half of the section and another image takes half of the section with no spacing at all. So this is half. I'm going to extend my image and I will do the same for this image. But we still have a spacing on the top, on the bottom and between the images. But we can use a Squarespace native uh, section uh, feature to remove all of this spacing. Click edit section. Here, first of all, we want to remove the fill the screen. Here I have um, the height selected as a small and it adds a little bit of spacing on the top and at the bottom of uh, the section. If I select medium, the spacing on the top and, and bottom is going to increase and so goes for large. So I just want to turn this off completely just like that. Now we don't have any extra spacing on the top or on the bottom. But we still have this little spacing in between two images and we can remove this gap by using the gap grid. We can control the gap between the rows and columns. And in this case, because it's a gap between the columns, we want to turn it down to zero, just like that. And then click save and let's preview it. And now we have two images completely taking the spaces on the right and on the left, creating the desired layout I wanted, which is two split screens with full images. And from here, moving into next tip is to use image overlays. So if I click on the pencil icon, I can navigate to design. And first of all, we can use shapes to create layouts. We can select between different shapes and so on and so forth. And then over here we have an overlay effect and we can adjust the color. For example, I want this dark color or maybe this brown and then I'm going to adjust the opacity of it so we can still see the image, but we can place some copy on the top of this image. We can also select a custom color by navigating to custom and then selecting the color we would like. Okay. And now let's add a text heading two, and we just have to adjust a little bit. And we have two options. First, we can just highlight this copy and change it to the light color. We can leave it as is. We can do is click edit section, navigate to colors. Here we can um, visualize the background color of the section is white and the text is black or dark brown. So we can switch to the dark section since we are not actually seeing the color background because we just have two images taking over the space of the entire section. Instead of us adjusting each, each copy we're going to add on the top of this image to a different color, we can simply switch the color theme of this section. For example, dark or dark two and so on. So now if I add another text, it's already light, so I don't need to do an extra adjustments and highlighting the, the text and making it a different color. The next step would be to use a native 
elements that are inside the square space to achieve some um, overlapping effect. Okay, so add a gallery, click on this pencil icon and under the plus icon, search for image or upload an image, click add. Now under the design, instead of grid, select a slideshow and I don't want any spacing over here because I'm only going to be showing one image. Here we want to select where we want to show a title and description because this is actually what is the animation is going to be about. So we want to show it at the bottom left and show it on hover. And now let's go back to content. Click on this gear icon and I want to get some copy and click save. And if I exit the preview and enter the preview, when I hover over the image, we have a text showing. Just another cool way to utilize the features available in Squarespace. And if we change it to, let's say, just button instead of right or left, if I preview it now, we have a little bit more interesting effect, in my opinion, because we don't have a clear outline of the box like that overlays below our copy. So it creates just a better effect. The next tip I have for you is how to use borders to create creative layouts in Squarespace. So this is an example of what I'm going to be trying to achieve. And if you have been using uh, Squarespace, you know that we have an option to add a line, which is only a horizontal line. And we do not actually have vertical lines. Here I'm going to show you what is the work around it. Let's add an image. The, the image itself doesn't take the whole container of the element. And for this particular layout, layout, we want it to take the whole container. So the way we can achieve it is by clicking Edit, and then under Design, we want to make sure to select Fill. Here we want to make sure to, again, remove the screen. Here's my reference. Expand this a little bit. And now we're going to add Search for a Shape, and then click on that Shape icon. And here, first of all, we're going to uh, change the color to be the background color. And now we're going to add a stroke. Six pixel is a little bit too thick for the layout I'm trying to achieve. I am going to use one pixel. Okay, this looks good. I'm going to extend going back to edit section. I want to make sure that there is no gap in between. Click on the, uh, this three dots and remove this gap like that. And we need to add a text and place this text over here. And now I will duplicate this container and send it to the back. Now we have a border here to the right and basically what we did, we created exactly the same container as this image and just send it behind the image. So we only see this outline over here. Now we need three columns. So let's, actually I'm just going to duplicate this the same container and push it down. One container another and okay we have this little gap and we can adjust by navigating to edit section and here the spacing between the rows we would like to remove it like that I'm gonna extend this rows add some text text here and we can duplicate this text and place it in this container change this image let's preview it here's our original one we will also need to add this element but in general this is how you can create the layout that has the outlines with vertical lines while there is no vertical lines available to us in Squarespace. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give it a like, drop a comment, and subscribe for more content like this.